Hello, my scientists. Welcome to our plant lesson today. Today, we're going to be talking about non-flowering plants. So this week, we have been discussing classifying plants. How do we group plants based off of their characteristics or traits? And we learned yesterday that most of our plants are flowering plants, meaning that they make seeds to reproduce and that they attract bugs, even though they don't all smell nice and look pretty, in order to share their pollen with each other. Today, we're gonna to talk about those plants that don't make flowers. So I am in our plant reading packet on page 73, and I'm in my plant question packet on page 85. We're going to start like we do every time with those true false questions, getting our brain thinking. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first statement says non flowering plants do not reproduce. Remember, reproduce makes means makes a new plant. Do you think that's true or false? Non flowering plants do not reproduce. Our second statement says, most conifers have broad, flat leaves. Leaves, excuse me. So go ahead and think about what we know about conifers. Maybe you don't know anything about it, that's okay. Do you think they have broad, flat leaves? All right, now that we've started to think, let's go ahead and dive in and read about non-flowering plants. Non-flowering plants are plants that do not make flowers. Some non-flowering plants reproduce using seeds and some reproduce using spores. There's an answer to our true false question. Do they reproduce? Yes, they use seeds or spores. Non-flowering plants are divided into three main groups. And we're going to learn about one of those groups today. Here are some pictures of non-flowering plants. So you can see that there's no flowers on them. I've got a fern that's down here. We talked a little bit about ferns. This is a cilantro plant. So just lots of them. Now I have a question. Think about this. If I look at a plant and it doesn't have a flower today on it, can I just say, oh, that means this is a non-flowering plant? No, I can't. Not every plant produces a flower all year round. There are lots of plants that only make flowers at certain points in the life cycle or in its season. So just because we don't see a flower doesn't mean that it's a non-flowering plant. The first type of plant that we're gonna talk about or non-flowering is called the conifers. And here's a little hint of a conifer. Conifers are non-flowering plants that reproduce using cones. The cone is where seeds are made. A cone acts as a shelter for the seeds until the seeds are ready to fall out. And that word conifer comes from the word cone. We talked about cones when we talked about plant structures. Remember they were woody and have scales and they stay closed until they get um, their pollen and then the co uh, cone opens and lets the seeds fall out. Here is a picture of a conifer. So I want you to notice the leaves here too. We'll talk a little bit more about that. And here are some of the cones that look like they're about ready to open and let their seeds fall out. Conifers grow in many different places, but most kinds of conifers grow in mountainous areas that have cold, snowy winters. Their pointed shapes keep the snow from piling up. So that way, like if think of like a Christmas tree, the way that it's angled like a pointed or a triangle doesn't allow that the snow to continue to pile up and weigh it down. 
Coast redwood trees usually grow in foggy mountain regions near the west coast of the United States. Douglas fir trees usually grow in moist mountain regions. Digger pine trees usually grow in dry mountain regions. Mountain hemlock trees grow in cold, snowy regions high up in the mountains. So they all kind of grow in that mountainous area. And here are some pictures of some conifers. So we have a coast redwood, the Douglas fir, a mountain hemlock, and a digger pine. And I want you to look at these. Do these leaves of these conifers look like the other types of plants we've looked at? Are they big, flat leaves? No, they are not. They're green, but they're shaped more like a needle. So they don't have those big leaves to make photosynthesis. They have little needles that they use for their photosynthesis. Think about where are they found? Mountainous places. And they don't produce a flower. Instead, they produce a cone. Remember the word conifers comes from the word cone. All right, we have answered all of our true false questions and are open-ended, hopefully you were listening. The next time we come together, we're gonna learn about the next group of non-flowering plants called ferns.